Hello viewers, I'm your instructor Zed Ali and uh, you are watching the channel CQ Tech. In this video, we will discuss about the healing angle calculation for the ship. But before starting, we will discuss about some common points and concept related to the healing angle. Healing angle is basically calculated when the ship is in uh, the sea, whether it is in moving condition or it is in static condition. So we must understand its concept before going to its calculation. So let's quickly move forward. This is the longitudinal section of the ship and uh, you can see that uh, various points are present here. K is the keel, B is the center of beyond, CG is the center of gravity while ML is the longitudinal meta center. Very important thing is that this longitudinal meta center is different from the transverse meta center while KML is keyed to longitudinal meta center distance and similarly the other distance is KB, KG. This is the transverse section of the ship and uh, you can see same points but in this case the section is different. So you can see KMT, KMT is basically the distance from keel to transverse meta center while KG is the distance from keel to center of gravity and similarly the other distances like KB, KG, GM etc. This ship we will consider for our healing angle calculation. This ship is basically the container ship. So let's use this ship. You can see that front section of the ship and we are looking at the bow of the ship. You can see red line as the water line and BL is basically the baseline. So these lines are basically the planes if you look at uh, them at the 3D section. CL, the yellow line is the CL, center line, and it is in 3D is the central plane. So if you look at the left of the picture, that picture is the top side of the ship. This is the port and starboard side. So in the naval architecture, the convention is to look at the ship from the stern of the ship, as it is shown in the left picture. So when you are looking from the stern of the ship, you can see that the right side of yours is the starboard side and your left side will be the port side and that is the convention used by the naval architects. Let's consider this green box. This green box is present at the bottom of the ship. This green box is almost present at the midship section of the ship and this could be fuel, cargo, storage, machinery, anyone you can choose from it. Let's consider that this amount of fuel is consumed, then what will happen to the ship? So the ship gets tilted towards the starboard side. So let's talk about some important points. Heal because of the internal effect i.e. fuel consumption. Second point is center of the gravity shifted ship is stable at some heel angle. Third point. GZ is the rightening lever and the GZ will not be effective there. I hope you understand the GZ concept. GZ is basically the writing lever or a couple which is used for making the ship to stable to its original position. But here the GZ will not work. Why GZ will not work? Because GZ will work when external waves, winds, acts and G remains constant for the ship. But here G is not constant. G is shifted towards the starboard side. Fourth point. It is the common sense point that the G moves towards the point of the weight added while G moves away from the point of weight removal. So here is uh, the triangle we obtained from the ship condition in case of the healing towards the starboard side and you can see that we obtained the point G1. G1 is our new center of gravity. G0 is our original center of gravity. Similarly, B0 is original beyond C. B1 is the new center of beyond C. So here you can see that we obtained the triangle G1, G0 and MT. This triangle is the right triangle and we need to find out the phi. Usually from this concept we need to find out the phi, the healing angle. Let's move forward towards uh, the numerical. The USS Simpson FFG 56 floats on an even keel at a draft of 16 foot. The KG is 20 foot above the keel while 
after one week the 50 liter of fuel has been used from a tank 11 foot to the port side and 15 foot above the keel find the angle of fuel after the fuel has been used and the ship displacement is given as 3960 liters so what are you thinking visualize this statement in your mind and what will happen given in the numerical we have given in the numerical kg naught 24 10 the consumed fuel by 50 liters and uh, total heat displacement 3960 draft 16 fold. so distances distances are to be shown on the picture of the ship in this way so this is uh, i hope that uh, visual visualization is the 20 foot the 15 foot so this is 11 foot is the distance of the fuel location from its center line yellow line is indicating the center line why there is negative 11 negative 11 is uh, because of the convention in the naval architecture that whenever the distance is calculated from the center line towards the port side then it is taken as negative and vice versa is taken as positive so we will discuss it in the coming section this is the displaced water of the ship find we have to find out the heel angle phi and to find out the heel angle we need to find out g naught g1 as we have seen in the triangle and to find out g naught g1 we need to find out kg1 so this is the scenario of the ship tilted towards the starboard side here is the triangle obtained from the ship and that is the right triangle and from this you can see that you have to find out g naught g1 and kg1 so these two things are to be calculated then we can easily find out our heel angle phi so let's move on g naught g1 and kg1 formula from the right triangle heel angle is tan phi is equal to g naught g1 divided by g naught empty as you can see in the blue triangle this is the formula satisfied and from the right triangle g naught empty is the metacentric height G0 is the original center of gravity, G1 is the transfer center of gravity, while G0 G1 is basically the location of transfer center of gravity from the center line. Here is the formula of KG1 and uh, this formula shows us that the del star KG0 minus MF star vertical distance from keel to fuel divided by del minus WF. Del is the mass of water displaced by ship while MF is the mass of fuel on the ship. Basically we have multiplied masses with their distance and subtract them as the fuel is consumed. If the fuel is added, if the fuel is added then this formula is changed in such a way that the negative sign is replaced by the positive sign. Detail of this formula is given in another video you can check out on this channel. Two things will happen when the fuel is consumed from the ship. Ship heels to the opposite side to the location of fuel consumed and ship displacement reduces. This is the formula of G0 G1 is equal to TC G0 star del minus MF star DF divided by del minus MF. Del is the mass of water displaced by ship. TCG is the transfer distance of the original center of gravity. DF the horizontal distance from center line to the fuel that was I think uh, minus 11 and MF is the mass of fuel the same formula just is the difference of horizontal in the past formula the vertical distances are used but in this formula the horizontal distances are being used solution step 1 find the new vertical center of gravity kg1 so we used the same formula we have discussed before we have given all the values so we will put these values in the formula and we will get the answer of kg1 here is an important thing you need to understand that in case of water one liter of mass will be equal to the one kg it is only true in case of water but in case of another things it is not true because liter is the unit of volume and one meter cube is equal to thousand liters but in case of the ship numericals as the ship is operated in water the 1 liter will be equal to the 1 kg. Step number 2. Find the location of transverse center of gravity G0 G1. The same formula we have discussed uh, in the past. The 0 is indicating that TC G0 is 0. What it's mean? It's mean is that 
the G naught is perfectly present on the center line or the center plane and it has no transverse distance. So that's why TC G naught is zero. While negative 11, the convention in naval architecture is that the distance towards the port side is taken as negative while the distance from center line towards the starboard side is taken as positive. So that is the case. Step 3. Define the length of metacentric height G0 mt. So its formula is G0 mt is equal to kmt minus kg0. So kmt is find out by two methods. First method is it is obtained from the graph curves of forms by using its uh, draft. This graph, the curve, curves of form is easy to understandable. It's not a very hard and fast. We will discuss it there. If there is no graph available, then you can find out kmt by using the formulas. So this is the formula given and you can use this formula where KB formula is equal to centroid over plane area while BM is basically moment of inertia divided by displaced volume of ship. From the paper point of view, both the methods are important and both the methods are easy. There is no difficulty. So for now, we will discuss the graph curves of form. This is the graph curves of form and in this case, there are a lot of lines on this graph. These all lines are basically representing the properties of ship. So at the bottom of the graph, you can see the different properties of the ship like displacement, immersion, water plane area, WPA. So, but here we will concern with the KMT, this KMT. KMT is basically from keel to transverse metacentric distance. And it is indicating that one unit here is equal to 0 0.2 foot. So this is the scale. I think you have understood this scale. This is the draft 16 foot given. Draw horizontal line first and this horizontal line will touches to the line number 8 and from the line number 8 draw a horizontal line. Okay. So here is the value 116 is obtained. Simply multiply this value with 0 0.2 foot and you will obtain the value of KMT. So here is the value of KMT 23.2 foot and G naught MT value is 3.2. So final step is heel angle calculation. Before going towards the formula of heel angle calculation, this is the final triangle we will obtain. So this triangle is showing us that we have calculated G naught G1 and G naught MT. So move forward towards the formula. So the heel angle calculated is 2.52 towards the starboard side. This is our heel angle. In the next video, I will discuss about the GZ stability curve and the depth video is very important. So watch out that video and check out the playlist in the channel. Any query, you can comment below and also you can check out these books present at the bottom of the video. So thanks for watching.